This is how billionaires live in Saudi Arabia. When people think of the wealthiest nation in the Middle East, after their first thought will be of Saudi Arabia. After all, the wild rich country has seemingly created many billionaires within the land. While this is true, there is also a lot of more going on under the surface. This is what life is like for the uber wealthy in the Asian nation. There is the vast assets of the wild family. The over the top purchases by the affluent such as multiple gold cars as well as the detail behind the nation in famous detailing video in 2070. The richest person in Saudi Arabia is the member of the royal family, the king. The king is currently Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, also known as Salman of Saudi Arabia. The title of Crown Prince, the second most prestigious title, is held by Mohammed bin Salman. According to the House of Saud, the official name is the Royal Family. The family has had a collective net worth of 1.4 trillion US dollars since 2018. Also in the same year, the British Royal Family had a combined net worth of 88 billion US dollars. Beyond the Royal Family, one of the Middle East wealthiest men is Muhammad Hussein Al Ahmadi, born in Ethiopia. He began amassing his fortune from construction projects in Saudi Arabia. He then began purchasing wildly refin ref refineries across the many countries, including Sweden and Morocco. Al Hamadi is also involved in gold mining, agriculture, food production, and more. So, this has given him an estimated net worth at the time of writing 8.3 billion US dollars. Going for Turkey bin Abdullah, one of the youngest members of the extended Saudi oil family, decided to get a gold car collection. Each of the luxury vehicles is plated with the pricey substance in 2070. He had a Mercedes, a Jeep, a Lamborghini Aventador, Rolls Royce and a Bentley flying super in all gold. A standard Lamborghini Aventador in 2017 had a manufacturer's suggested retail price of up to $535,000. Just his base cars are estimated to cost up $2 billion together. Paintings are also a must-have for the billionaires in the country. In 2017, the artwork Salvador Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci went up for auction at Christ New Year. It sold for a record $450.3 billion and it was purchased by the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The artwork was set to go on display at Paris Louvre Gallery in 2018. However, it was cancelled at the last time. Instead, the painting was reportedly moved on board bin Salman's private yacht. The city, speaking of saving the sea, is another beloved pastime of the wealthy and billionaires in Saudi Arabia are no exception. In 2011, the Syrian was delivered to Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Shafler. He reportedly spent 330 million dollars for it. At the time, the 439-foot-long Syrian was one of the longest private yachts around. Bill Gates even chartered the vessel for the price of 5 million per week at one point. In 2015, Prince Salman fell in love with the boat, so he splashed out around 550 million dollars for you. But in life of billionaires in Saudi Arabia is not all for golden cars and pri pricey boats. In 2017, what's known as the Saudi Arabian Perch Court under way and officially ended in 2019. A host of princes, business leaders, and government ministers were all arrested. This was due to an anti corruption investigation that did hold only a few weeks prior. It was led by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Private planes were even grounded to stop the looking to leave the country. While over 2,000 bank accounts were frozen world together, around 500 people were detained. Over this period, the rich Carlton Hotel in the capital city of Riyadh was evacuated on residence before being used to house the detainees, many of which spoke about their harsh treatment on the arrest. The Saudi authorities believed that 800 billion was used for corruption. In the end, the managed to get back $106 million from settlements to detainees. Prince Mithir bin Abdullah, who, are, 
until 2017 served as the head of the National Guard was reported lately is after paying more than one billion dollars for his settlement. Due to the incident, Cox decided to no longer showcase the year of the incident to the Richard Smith from 2018 onwards. One of those that was also arrested was Prince Walid bin Talal. He was well known as a billionaire investor and was often compared to Warren Buffett. While a part of the Wild family, he often held views that they did not such as thinking the water should drive in the country long before it came into effect. Saudi Arabia has a reputation of being an incredibly wealthy country. Yet in earlier, that is not the case for the average citizen. This is surprising. When the nation has national resources worth of massive 34.4 trillion dollars. In 2013, Saudi Arabia had stated that the poverty line for the people was less than around 500 and hardly a million. At the time, it was estimated that between two to four million people were earning less than this. The Saudi government does not release the exact figure, as such outside groups have had to make educated estimates. One in the year prior, the nations had brought in around 300 million from its wild industry. The number of those in poverty increased during the recent global events when the unemployment rate reached 15.4%. But the authorities have been trying to combat this growing problem. 